Now, foreign envoys in Nairobi have released a statement that is extremely strange. Yeah, in fact, I'd call it bizarre. And I'll tell you why. Now, we all know what is happening currently in Kenya. There's a very serious crackdown on opposition figures. Yeah, uh, people are being harassed. Detention without trial is back. Somebody is held for four or five days without being uh, taken to court. Isn't that detention without trial? Yeah. Um, we have all manner of harassment of the opposition. Yes. The constitution is not being followed. Okay. We have had the government ignoring a total of five uh, court orders. And then on top of that, the government goes and deports a naturalized, born in Kenya, parents born in Kenya person to Canada. Yeah, this is the Miguna Miguna case. So what kind of statement would you expect uh, from foreign envoys when all this is happening? You'd expect a statement telling the government to follow the constitution. You'd expect a statement, yeah, complaining about the draconian ways of the Jubilee government, complaining about the harassment of the opposition. You'd expect that kind of statement. But no. What do the foreign envoys do instead, led by a Buona Kodek? They release a statement asking NASA to recognize the government of Uhuru Kenyatta. And then buried somewhere in the last few paragraphs, they say, oh, uh, Jubilee should follow the constitution, and NASA as well should follow the constitution. What? Somebody please correct me and tell me that uh, there was no such statement issued, that I've gotten my facts wrong, because I don't understand. Yeah? And indeed, many long-suffering Kenyans don't understand. Now, first of all, I'm extremely suspicious because of the timing. We know that on Friday, yeah, uh, the Canadian government issued a statement, uh, in fact, a very serious protest note yeah, to the Kenyan government over, you know, the way it is behaving. Yes, the way it treated Miguna Miguna, the way the opposition are being harassed, the shutting down of uh, TV stations, etc., etc. Canada issued that statement. Now, don't you think it is funny, a day or two later, the, the other envoys release another statement, which is the very opposite of uh, the Canadian statement. Is somebody trying to balance public opinion? Is somebody trying to play a balancing game of uh, tit for tat? The Canadian said this, so let us cancel it by saying all the other Western powers are for Jubilee. Get my drift? Now, these ambassadors, uh, Kwanzaa, this Bona Kodek, staying in Mudaiga, they don't know how the ordinary Kenyans are suffering. They're only here. Yeah? And then their view of getting the opinion and the situation in Kenya is attending cocktail parties with the big, fat, pot-bellied uh, rich people yeah, in high society in Kenya. Yeah, the ruling class, the, the business class. And then they get all their views there. And then now this guy just goes and shoots his mouth in a statement uh, from the invoice. Oh, gosh. Now, NASA leader, uh, Raila Odinga, has hit back at that statement very hard. And uh, <laughs> one of the things Raila said is that the Western powers have not had us uh, deciding who their president should be. For instance, there was a very, well, there still is uh, some controversy over the election of Donald Trump as president of the U.S., yeah? So Kenyans have not gone to the U.S. and said Hillary Clinton should be a president, or it's Trump who should be a president. It's none of Kenyans' business, yeah? And therefore, in the same vein, it is none of the U.S.'s business who the Kenyans have recognized as their president. Now, this is even more interesting because we all saw the crowd at Huru Park. I mean, why don't we have a referendum today for Kenyans to decide and let it not be run by IABC and the Chebukati types? Why don't we have a referendum today, yeah? And then let's see what the people think as to who their legitimate president is, yeah? I assure you... <laughs> Bona Kodek's choice and the choice of the U.S. and the choice of a handful of Kenyans is not going to be the choice of the majority of the Kenyans. In my view, Kodek is just fanning trouble in Kenya. Eh? Moto kidogo na jaribu kuwaka, Kodek anaongeza, eh? anapepe hivi. Eh? Making sure that the fire really catches. That's what he's really doing. Because we're in a very sensitive situation. Yeah, over the August state elections. And this is not something that will go away by the foreign powers issuing a statement and telling Raila to recognize Uru as the president. Indeed, I want to shock Bwana Kodek. 
Yeah, it is out of Rayla's hands. That is the truth. Now, uh, if you catch part two of this recording, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, but for now, what I need to say is that this statement by the U.S. and other envoys, because I believe this uh, statement originated from the U.S. Embassy. Okay, this statement originated from a, from Bwana Kodek and his colleagues. Okay, and it's a statement based on the partisan interest of the U.S. government in Kenya. Yeah, they are favoring one side. We don't know what deals they've done uh, behind the scenes. We don't know what America wants in Kenya. I don't know if it's oil they're very interested in in Turkana. Whatever it is, the Americans have made up their minds that their president is Uru Kenyatta. Okay? Now, why don't they just pick up this president of theirs and take him to be president of the U.S.? Really? Or create their own colony and then choose this president for themselves? Because the truth is, and Bonacodec knows, the CIA is aware, all the intelligence organizations uh, with offices in Nairobi are aware, how the Aga State elections went, and they did not go in the way Bonacodec is trying to tell people. In any case, after the events of the last week or so, where we have had TV stations shut down, people arrested, Kenyans deported, <laughs> that is the last statement Kodek should have come out with. Yeah, really, really, really. Yeah, it is the kind of statement that leaves a very bad taste in the mouth of Kenyans. Really, really. Yeah. Oh boy. Ah. <sighs> Until next time. This is Chris Kumekucha. Mm -hmm.